Hi everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today I wanted to make some cloth tabs. Um, we're going to need fabric, paintbrush, Mod Podge, uh, and some scissors. And I'm just going to dive right in. You don't need huge pieces. I mean, depending on how many of your tabs you want. Uh, let's see. I'm looking here for my the scissors I want to use. Thought I had a pair out, but I'll use my fabric ones here. Um, I don't want a huge amount of each one, but I thought you know enough to um, get my Mod Podge lid off here. Enough to have some fun making me. I love tabs and. I did these here a while back. Uh, I gave a few to, I had them with me and I gave a few to Valerie. But you're just going to take your brush and I've seen Tina do this I believe before as well. Um, well, you know what, I've seen her do cloth or fabric, um, what do you call it, uh, envelopes and they were adorable. So yeah, I'm I'm doing tabs today. Maybe we'll do envelopes next time. So you're just gonna paint it onto your fabric, and as you can see, it's going through. Uh, but we're gonna do. I think I did both sides the last time I did this. It was just a little project I did by myself. Um, I didn't do it on camera. At least I don't think I did. I hope I didn't. <laughs> I don't want to repeat myself. Um, I should have tore these strings off, huh? Oh well, it's fine. So yeah, you just cover it and then we're gonna let them dry. And once they're dry, you can cut them out and create these adorable little tabs. And I just cut them into different shapes. Um, I have taken tabs and made myself a few templates and um, I may try to use those. I don't think I've used them on the fabric. I've only used them on paper, but we'll see. Okay, now I'm going to sit this. Where can I sit this? I'm gonna sit it on to um, another piece of this. I've got a few of these here, so let me grab one. I am going to just lay them out here on my couch and then these can dry while I do the next one. So, yeah. I don't know that you need to, um, I don't know that you need to do both sides because it's going to stiffen. Maybe I'll try it without it on both sides and see what happens. Do some of this purple. I love this purple. It's so pretty. <clears throat> and like I said, you don't need a ton. Just, just enough. Now, if you were going to make envelopes or something, you know, you'd want to square them off and. So that you could shape them right and everything. Unless, of course, you wanted to do rectangular envelopes or maybe kind of the little oddball shaped ones, then I don't think it would matter as much. I think on this one, I'm not going to do the other side. I want to see what happens. Okay. Great. Okay. Sorry, Mike. 
my slipper flipped off. I had to chase it. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Um, let me see. I really want to make sure I do some. This is this weird kind of, I don't know, this material, this fabric is an odd. It almost looks like it's on the wrong side. It's so pale, but it's not. And I like the the look of it, so I definitely want to make some out of this. I brought a few different fabrics here along with me, so I could have, when it's all said and done, I can have me a nice selection. So what's everybody up to? I think it's Friday today. If I'm not mistaken, this is Friday's video. If I'm wrong, I apologize. <laughs> Don't want to confuse anybody. It's um, it's Wednesday of last week for me. Uh, and so I usually film them pretty much in order if I can. And that way I'm not too... Uh, thrown off, you know, I'm not too far off when I say my days of the week, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be going up on Friday. So what's everybody got planned for the weekend? Got anything fun you're going to do this weekend? It is Resur Resurrection Sunday. Um, oh no, that's this past Sunday. Forget I said that. I'm, see, I'm off because I didn't, <laughs> never mind. This coming Sunday is Easter, Resurrection Sunday, so I am incorrect. So what did you all do for Easter? I've probably already asked you that on Monday, but you know, you get kind of discombobulated when you're doing these videos a little bit. Now this one I think is adorable. This material is just so cute. Um, if you like it, it, got, it came from Hobby Lobby. So it's not anything vintage or anything, but it's just cute. Here we go. See? I don't know how good of tabs it'll make, but I thought I'd give it a try. It's just a little tiny piece of it, right? These are pretty quick. It's mostly the drying time. Once, you're, um, once you've got them dry, it's just a matter of cutting them. You know, folding them the way you want them and cutting them out. and Easy peasy. They really are. Yeah, that Mod Podge is going through to the other side. So I don't really think you need to do... Uh, I don't really think you need to do two sides of it. Laid out another placemat for the next ones. Let me see. I do want to do some of this feathers. I've, I have not, I love this material. I have it in both the colors it came in at Walmart. Uh, it came in a, a white and then it came in this blue and Courtney got it for me uh, in Christmas of 2021 and I have not used it. So I'm kind of like, okay, I'm gonna make something with it. So I decided to make few tabs and then maybe down the road I'll make some envelopes or something I don't know why I just, it, it's such a gorgeous material and I just haven't used it isn't it pretty look at that the colors of the blues in those feathers is just gorgeous <sighs> you know we get our eye I even picked it I mean I told him which one I wanted and everything but we get our eye on stuff we get it we get it home we put it away uh, we forget, you know, that we even like it, or we forget what we were thinking when we were looking at. Okay, this is me. I say we. I shouldn't include all of you in there, right? I, I should be like a, me. I get an idea in my head about what I'm going to make when I see something. And then I get home, I put it away, and I tend to forget what I thought I was going to make. So, 
then I come back to it and it's not been touched, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, what was I going to do with that again? You know? So, this is one of those. Definitely the feather fabric is one of those that I did that with. Let's see. Now, this is definitely, I love this. I know Sonia loves this one. I'll show you in a second, Sonia, and you'll probably be like, oh yeah, that's one of mine. Because it's, oh, I cut it too long. Wait, I don't want that much. It's one of those peachy colors. I always think of our friend Sonia. She's my, my, my girl. I always think of her when I see peach colors. Um, one of my favorite journals she made was, had a lot of peaches in it and just, I associate it with you now. <laughs> okay. All right. Gosh, that thing went way down in there and it got all over the handle. Yeah. Big surprise, as usual, I'm going to be covered in glue. Did you see that? I flicked that everywhere. <laughs> it's so messy. <laughs> oh. You guys are so funny. You always tell me how real I am. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't even know if you guys realize just how real I really am. And when I'm on video, this is me. I'm very impatient. I like to get things done. I'm like, do it quick. If I can't do it quick, I don't want to do it. I know. There are some things you have to take time with. I know. Before anybody corrects me, I'm very much aware. I just have a tendency to enjoy fast return on my, my, uh, my projects. I know there's... I'm not alone. There's got to be others out there that feel that way. I, I've actually talked to some of you, so I know there are. I just like that feeling, you know, of that quick return. I have got a huge pile of fabric over here now because I'm not folding in between each one. I'm just cutting them down and throwing it over here on top of my computer. Okay, there we go. This one's really, I always like this material too. And this is another Hobby Lobby. It's got little bees and flowers and the roses. Oh, it's just so pretty. You know, I think that's the first time I've noticed the bees. I always saw the roses and didn't really pay attention to the rest of it. That's funny. That's really pretty, actually. And now this one I've used a lot um, for different journal covers and, and based, you know, um, like my friend Shani, my best friend Shani, the journal I made for her and gave to her, uh, had this within, within the base of like the cover. It was very beautiful. Okay. So it actually is the journal that's on the face of my Tara's take page on Facebook, not the group page. But my business page. Come on. Oh, I've got this all twisted around it, so. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm coming right back. I promise. But this is all turned around. Just a minute. There we go. <laughs> it like glued to itself. Okay, I've got one more. And then I'm going to pause and let these dry completely, and then I'll come back and we'll play. We'll make some, okay? This looks similar to the first one I did because it's from the same pack. Uh, Walmart has those four packs, and this is one of them out of there. So, since I'm doing a blue journal right now, I thought I'd do a couple of different blues, and maybe the feathers, and use them in... Uh, this, you know, making some tabs for that. I just like having them ready so when I want them, they're there. I really do. And Valerie was kind enough to loan me her whale tail stamp, or punch, I mean. And so I punched. I even have some on sale in the shop because I punched so many that I made a couple of kits. And then also... Um, I made a huge amount for myself to just have, you know, on hand. Yeah. 
All right, so there we go, guys. That's all you're going to do for this first step. Super easy, right? I'll be back. I'm going to pause and let them dry. Hi, guys. I'm back. So, okay, so here we and Look what I did. This one, I laid it out on, I guess, the spot where there was um, ink. And it came through on the material, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, kind of really vintagey looking. So I don't know what I think about it yet. Um, and then we have this one. This one's still got a little bit of a wet spot right there, but everything else feels dry. It's kind of weird. Um, then we have the feathers and this one. And then the little Paris paper. And this one's got a little bit of that too, just a couple of splotches. And then with this one. So whatever you're going to lay it out on, your fabric, if it's a lighter fabric, make sure there's no ink underneath. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut some of these. Okay, and show you what I did. Now I've got some straggly edge over here, which in a way I kind of like. So I'm thinking I might leave it. Here's some I did last week. I was going to show you. Um, and you can see they're just, and I actually, oh, you know what I did last week? I put them on paper, I think. Yeah, I had, I had put them down on a paper, but this time I didn't. Let's see how they do. Um, hopefully. Actually, I think I kind of, I don't know. These are nice too, though. I think I did them on like a. Just a piece of, oh yeah, and then when I pulled them up, it tore. That's right. So that's why I didn't do it this time on the paper. Um, I'm just going to, I went a little high on that one. I'm going to bring this down. Wait. So now you can shape these any way you want. Like if you wanted it to be a little squared off part here. We could do that. <clears throat> and then you can just, let's see if this will work good. I was going to say you can just use the other side like you would with a tab. Oopsie, dang it, I cut too far down. Oh well. And you have a little, you have a little piece like that. Or you can take them make two small ones here. Just nip it off on the side here. Same over here. And you have one like that. Okay. They're super easy. But I like them and I thought that you guys might like them too. That's why I decided. Now this one I'm just going to kind of round. Where does it go? Where did I move? Oopsie. I just knocked my glasses right off my face. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, some of the stuff I do, just embarrassing. Where did that, oh, here it is. I was going to try and use, see if I could use it on this side and round that off the same size. Oops, wrong way. There we go. And just hold that there in that corner. I don't think I did that side as good. I did not. I did not. There we go. It's a little better. What other ones did I do? Oh, I actually used my, I think I used, I don't know what I do with it. I have, maybe I stuck them somewhere. Looks like I did. Darn it, I have templates. Oh, I guess I can just use one of these as a template as well. And you can just lay it out on here. Take a pen. Use a fine pin. Okay, and just go around it. I did try, I believe. Yeah, I tried to use a punch 
on the fabric and it for me at least it did not work so but if you wanted a specific shape see and then you can just cut it out to match that shape okay So I was going to tell you guys, you'll probably, I don't know, I don't like telling you stuff that I think I might end up tell, wanting to tell you on Mass Monday. That's more when I try to chit chat, but anyway, I'll tell you anyway. So Cordy, his, the guy who trained him, Nick, he gave his two week notice and yesterday, and which was Tuesday of last week for you guys, okay? So that you have a time frame <laughs> anyway <laughs> but um yeah he gave his notice he's gonna go work somewhere else and so now courtney of course has his truck the one well the one that used to be nick's and his boss preston uh messaged him yesterday and said yeah i want to talk to you in my office um and he had a meeting he had to do yesterday but he said as soon as possible uh, and he said, don't worry, it's good. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Nick was kind of their lead guy. And the other, I've told you guys, the other two really don't work. And then the third one they have now that they hired, he's not working out very well either. He's young and he's just kind of a goof off. So yeah, who knows what the Lord is going to bless Courtney with. And is when the Lord moves on your behalf, you know, we talked about this in our devotion. God's timing. He knows what's going on. And it's like he removed Courtney from that bad job that he was with, um, with Ron, and just put him in this company and has quickly, very quickly established him. I mean, it's happened so fast. It's kind of making both of our heads swim. <laughs> We're just like, whoa. You know, so... Because Preston really, really likes him. And um, he's told him the other day, I and I heard him because he called, uh, he texted Courtney and asked him to call him, and he did. And he was telling him, I really like how you think. He said, I like the way your mind works. I love your work ethic. Um, I wish I had more men in my company like you. You know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's a blessing. So if you're, you know, you're waiting on the Lord, just trust in the Lord because he sees and he knows and he will, he will answer you. He will. So this one is, I'm going to go ahead and trim those edges off because they don't, they're not on both sides. So it doesn't look as cute. You know what I mean? There we go. I hope you like these. They're easy and fun and just kind of cute. And I'm just going to trim yeah, I thought this Paris one would be, uh, I wasn't sure about it because it's kind of broken apart all over the place, you know. So, I don't know if I'll use these too much. We'll see. We'll see. So there's that one. Yeah, so you just fold them in half, and then you can do um, whatever type of trim you want at the top. I do like the little squared off ones. I think they're cute. Oops, I need to go a little bit lower than that. Okay. So I think you guys get the idea. I'm not going to decorate them right now. I'm just getting them ready to have them in my bag to grab whenever I need one uh, that matches whatever I'm working on. That's kind of was my goal was doing it in all these different fabrics was to um, kind of have these made up. You know what? I was just thinking... 
because there is no way I'm going to use as much as I actually just created, I'll be honest. Because um, look at this piece. I have this whole piece here. So I'm thinking, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not super great at doing envelopes like off the cuff, but I could just do a, a regular envelope, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a super fancy. So we'll just make this a, a plus on the video. <laughs> and then what I'm probably gonna do is sew these. Um, yeah, I think I'll sew and make these little envelopes, the extra pieces. So let's see here. So on the title to the video, I'm probably going to put, uh, you know, tabs plus envelopes because I hadn't thought about doing the envelopes and I, I'm not going to try and cut them down into fancy, you know, super fancy. I am going to leave this, uh, a ragged edge for this part though. I think that's really cute. I'm going to trim this down and even it out. I think I'll take it to my sewing machine. What color thread do I have in the machine right now? I think I have blue. Either blue or black. Black will look good, right? Yeah, black will look cute. So I just like jumped gears. I apologize. But I was realizing, because I did that one, and I had all that left, and then I looked over, and I still have all of this on this one left. So I was just kind of thinking, huh, maybe I should, you know, take the remainder and make myself some cute... Now this I have, I have the edges on both sides. This is very uneven right here. Let's try and... Okay. It's still uneven, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that will be kind of cute, these little envelopes. Now this is, I did see Tina do envelopes with these. Now this one's curling up. That's kind of annoying. There's my... Just looking for my bone folder here. It's, I think it might be easier to... Hmm. Oh well, I'll use my scissors. No biggie. I'm just clumsier with them. Yeah. So I'm going to cut down a portion for my... Um, what you call it? And then the rest of it, I think I'll make for my, I'll make for my tabs, and then the rest I'll do from an envelope. I think that's fun. Kill two birds with one stone, right? Let's see. That's kind of cool. Where the Mod Podge was, and where the strings were, it made white streaks. So I'm just going to trim this one down. I'll go ahead, it's a little bit long, so I'll go ahead and use some of this for my tabs. And then the rest I'll use for an envelope. Okay. There we go. <laughs> These feathers are so cute. I don't know how great they'll look though with as tabs only because not a lot oops, not a lot of them are going to be I mean I don't think you'll be able to tell it's a feather. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's see. If 
I trim that. See, you can't. It's kind of a cool design, though. It still looks pretty. It's just kind of hard to tell it's a feather, actually. I don't know why I love tabs so much. Whenever I see tabs on something, I my, I just enjoy them. Do y'all feel that way? What's what's your certain thing that you see and go, oh, I love that. You know, whether it be I don't know library cards and pockets. Um, I mean, what's your thing? You know, everybody I think has those things that they like. Share with me in the comments what's yours. That's not too, too bad. A little bit more off here. There we go. Those aren't too hard. I mean, to cut like that, they're, they're pretty easy. Yeah, you can't really tell it's a feather necessarily because it's broken down so far, but it is a nice background. Tomorrow I have to go into town. I usually craft with Valerie. Um, I've, I actually texted her and left her a message to see if she wants to go with me. But I have to go into town to do that printer. I've told you guys about it, I think, already. Um, I have to hopefully exchange it. They said to bring it on in and they'd exchange it for me. So... I hope I don't run into any snafus with that because that printer is brand new and I did pay for the warranty, the four year extra, you know, thing. So, yeah, it really should not. I know the man from, uh, what do you call it, the Geek Squad, he was like, uh, no, that should not be happening already. Bring it in. He was, that's not good, you know, so. I was glad that he was so agreeable about it. Hopefully the store, he was on the Geek Squad. I don't know how much authority he has, of course, but I'm hoping that they'll be good about it for me. So I'll let y'all know, we'll see. This one needs trimmed on this side. I may put, because it's this blue, I might do one of these and put it into a, um, what do you call it? My journal that I'm working on now. It's pretty. It'll be nice color. Let's see. This one's still not quite dry in that one spot. It's so weird. I did way too big a piece on that one. Look at that. It's huge. So I'm just going to trim down. Okay. My neighbor, her rooster is, Can you, I know you guys can't hear him. It's just so funny, I can just hear him calling out there, or cockadoodle doing. His name is Sam, and he's just your regular run of the mill, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I call them foghorn leghorn roosters, you know, the old white ones with the red top and everything, and yeah. He's the kind that used to chase me when I was a little girl on the farm. Um, if you've never seen Bugs Bunny's, the cartoons, Warner, uh, what is it, Warner Brothers cartoons, um, I'm sure most of you remember Foghorn. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so he looks like him, but he's, you know, he's smaller, but he's funny. Because when you call his name, he'll look at you. I called, see, I never realized that, I really never thought about a rooster knowing their name. I don't think we ever named our chickens when I was a kid. And, uh, yeah, she's named him, and he's her only rooster, so that's probably the biggest reason. 
but he's so cute and he'll look at you like what <laughs> when you call him <laughs> I was cracking me up I told my husband look at him watch and I said see him and he turns and looks <laughs> so yeah they're, they're getting ready, gearing up. They had a dog attack their chicken coop in the back and about six months ago, maybe a year ago, and killed a bunch of their chickens. And so now they have, I think she said they have 28 chicks in the house that are, you know, they're raising. And they're about a month and a half old. So he's prep. her grandson is prepping the coop and preparing a separate place for them apart from the, the grown chickens, you know. And, uh, yeah, and so they're going to start selling eggs again here pretty soon. I guess she's, I didn't know her back a year ago. I guess she sells eggs, so we'll see. Maybe I'll buy some. She's, she's charging, she told me she's going to charge $5 a dozen because they're, you know, fed and free range, and they roam around her yard and eat, and, and so they're totally free range. They're very happy chickens. She's right. She said they're happy chickens. They're healthy, and their eggs are worth that. You know, and I was like, yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if I buy them or not. Let's see here. I'm looking because on this one, I really messed up by getting that icky stuff on there. It's annoying. So anyway, I hope you guys like these. Um, I don't know if what I'm going to do with this one I, or if I'm going to use it or not. It kind of looks more dirty to me than vintagey, you know? What do you think? I think, I think it looks dirty. That's annoying that I did that. I guess I could go over it with, um, let's see. I guess I could go over it with, what do you call it? More vintage photo and just darken it all the way. This one I made way too big. Check it out. This thing's huge. I can make two envelopes out of this. make two shorter envelopes. That would be kind of cute. What time is it? Okay. Because I had it paused for so long, it feels like longer to me than it actually is for you guys. Okay. Oh, these are cute, actually. These are going to be pretty little envelopes, I think, once I decorate them. Put a little bit of, I don't know, some sorry silk on them or some lace or... Okay. All right, I'm going to pause really quick and, well, let me see. What about this one? Has it dried enough? I This is just that one spot. I must have really gotten it thick right there. I'm going to cut this down slightly. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, it goes this way. Shoot. This one's going to need straightened out more. Right. They feel cool. I love the way fabric feels with the glue on it. They feel so leathery. getting my scissors caught on all these things over here and 
it kind of shows you how small an area I'm in, huh? Because I'm barely moving them over and I'm getting them caught in the pile of stuff. Okay, so there we have that one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, if I'm even going to bother. I think it might be kind of ugly now that I did that. Let's see. But I have that one, that one. So I ended up getting envelopes out of this, this deal too. Okay, so I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I didn't sew them all because my machine flaked out on me, so I didn't want to mess with it. I was getting tired of fiddling with it. But anyway, I got a few of them sewn. As you can see, I just used black thread. I did not put... Um, one thing I was going to say, depending on how you want the inside to feel, um, I think they feel really cool because they're a little bit stretchy and just kind of feel neat without any paper inside but I did do one with paper I took a book page I used my glue stick okay my permanent glue stick glued it down and then folded it back into an envelope and sewed it and that's how it came out it's super cute so if you want to do that and it has a different feel of course because it's got the book page on the inside but you still got kind of that leathery cool feeling on these there's the little Paris one a little cutie patootie so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and decorate one real quick here. I was thinking I've got this cute little furry <laughs> thread or yarn, I mean, not thread, yarn. Let's see if I can get my glue going. Oh, you know what? In fact, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Okay. And just go across this edge. Got a little heavy on that part and tack this on just because I think it'll look cute and I'm using this yarn in some other places in the journal so uh, I've decorated a few pieces I don't know if you guys remember when we did the yarn slash uh, washi tape collages and I cut those all down into different things and I have already done a belly band in there from that grouping um, that looks super cute inside this journal and it's got this yarn on it so I thought that would be fun now let me see let me see <clears throat> should I do one of my little tags <laughs> my tabs <laughs> on this side that would have been cute I should sew one of those on the side that'd be fun um, I'm looking here really quick to determine <clears throat> What else I would like to put on here? I don't know, I've got this piece of lace that tore, it was torn down from a, a larger piece that's just in my little bin over here that I use. I haven't been able to find a place for it yet, but I think I will eventually. I don't know if that's gonna be the spot, but we'll see, let me see here. And then, oh, you know what, I think I'll do instead. I don't know if this will look good, but I'm going to try and put this little, yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. And okay. This journal is all about the blues. You know, I love me some butterflies on top of those flowers. I thought that would look pretty. Let's see. What else do I have in here? I don't think I have anything else I'll use on there. From that batch. I actually um, think I'm going to do like a phrase up here. And then that will be it on this. This one here. I think that would be cute. This page is a lot about the stars. Looking.
How about this one? The beauty of this life. I think that's pretty. Do a little bit of distress on this and make it, of course, blue. I know, it's a lot of blue, but I do love my blue. Seriously, I mean it. <laughs> and we're going to trim this down into three separate little pieces. I'm just using the fabric tag because of the because of the fabric I thought it might be the beauty right there of I should use my tweezers but instead I'm sitting here fighting with it of this life. The beauty of this life. There. Oopsie. Crooked. There we go. Let's bring this down just slightly. I don't want it covered by the yarn, but at the same time I want it to be separate. Come on. There we go. I forgot to distress this side a little bit. So there's that piece. We've got, okay, the beauty of this life. And then when you open it, you have a cute little envelope. It's very, actually very sturdy because it's the fabric. It's not sticking to itself, so that's good. And, and it's cute. So anyway, we have our tabs. We have different styles. Let me grab a couple here so you can see them again. And we have our envelopes. So as you can see, it's a versatile little project, fun and entertaining, and you get a lot of um, bang for your buck. So, And you only use a tiny bit of scraps of your fabric. So, you, I mean, it's cool. You get more than, you know, you put into it just a little bit and you get quite a bit out so anyway i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys tomorrow have a wonderful day i love you so much god bless you